Icon Moments Trezeguet, 92 rated. He's had an 86, an 89, a 91, and now a 92. I think, yeah, both years he's been in the game, both 92. Nothing really to change there. He is a four-star, four-star striker. And again, another striker we've used in Zagi, Vieri, and now Ian Wright. And now we've got Trezeguet. Honestly, I'm excited. Ian Wright was probably my favorite so far. We are kind of going back to the more taller, less kind of pacier strikers. But again, great finishing. We've got 95 on him. And what would a review be without another engine chem style? Honestly, it's going to be the running theme with these, I swear. We have got a power header as his trait. He is 6'2", so I was expecting something with the heading. Obviously, with the engine, he'd get 90 pace, flat out 90 acceleration and sprint speed. We have 99 positioning and finishing, which... Honestly, fantastic with good shot power and volleys. Passive wise, nothing really too uh, kind of spectacular, but with the engine, we'll end up with 88 short pass, which I'll absolutely take. And dribbling wise, we'll end up with 86 agility with 90 balance. Again, brilliant. We've got okay composure, good dribbling with the engine chem style, reactions is up there, and ball control. And we have a good amount of strength and stamina, as well as that 93 head and accuracy. He's coming in roughly at around about anywhere between 350 to 370. We managed to get him to uh, 325. Um, according to this, we've seen sales of 350, 350 uh, three times in a row. We've seen a 300 sale, and then predominantly it kind of chills around about the 330 to 370, depending on the time of day and the actual day you sell him so let's jump into him see if we can make a little bit of profit on oh is Trezeguet in here gets a first great touch on him could see what I was debating whether to go for the cross there but we did end up trying to go for the inside and probably not the greatest kind of outcome there i ping it forward put a bit of pressure on the defender Oh, he's, he's and that and that's it. Sometimes that's all you need, and sometimes he can make that fumble. And literally, that's a goal right there. If that keeper makes a bad touch like that, you're in on the absolute look of it. Trezeguet picking out wide here, tries it, drills a ball in, gets it into Paqueta, who's gonna bag it into the bottom corner, and that is it. Sometimes it's always worth a knock in the box. Trezeguet looking for the Litmanen, finds the ball across. Litmanen with the header. That's a solid, solid save from Neuer. Pings it into Litmanen, pings it across into Trezeguet, and it's a back heel. Lovely stuff from him. Litmanen with the assist, Trezeguet with a cheeky finish, and it just shows great partnerships from the moments. Trezeguet with the interception. You love to see it from him. Ball control seems decent enough nothing really too spectacular from him there but i think on the ball he seems pretty competent but it is dependent on, on kind of how you want to use your striker are you very much a left stick dribbler as i think oh nearly neymar oh nearly sneaks it i think in general when it comes to a striker sometimes they can make the goals or sometimes they're better off just being almost assisted most of the way and i think trezeguet definitely could make his own every now and then depending on the level of defenders that you're playing against but i feel like he is going to be better at being assisted more than anything so going into the overall then so he's coming in like i say 360 you can see a lot of up and downs really we're gonna to hope to get 345 from him which to be honest would be i think about yeah i think literally if you look at that take it into consideration i think yeah we would be getting pretty much just the card back so not bad we could see the the price difference and it's pretty much the same for every moment it's the average and then it's just kind of like chilling underneath at the moment but in general as a striker he was okay. I feel like he definitely was on, on the par of Inzaghi Vieri level. Yes, had a little bit more about him in terms of striking, but the dribbling was the same. Pace was roughly the same. He does have the 4-4, which I think is a nice advantage. But again, I don't think he offers that much uh, kind of variety in how you strike the ball. He naturally is just much a, of an assisted player. You give him the ball outside of the box, in front of goal, whatever, and he needs to be able to shoot otherwise you're more than likely going to get overrun. His agility side of stuff, even with the engine, which does turn him into a 94-rated striker, can't argue, it's still not great. We've got the high and average body type, which I think is one of the ones that really you're not really wanting, to be honest. You are looking for that lean body type as much as possible, which is normally left for the strikers that are, are, are uh, a little bit more expensive. And at the same time, 
you look at people like R9, Eusebio, all of them, they're not necessarily the leanest strikers in the world. I know R9's body type is R9 for whatever reason, but you look at the likes of Eusebio, I'm pretty sure he has an average or something like that. I know Hullet, again, striker, not necessarily a, a lean build by any means, but in terms of this body animation, I think Trezeguet is just a little bit off the pace. Um, like I say, very much in Zagi Vieri level. I probably wouldn't notice a massive amount of difference between the two and i think why one is more expensive than the other is purely down to nation france obviously have a lot of special cards even if you just click you can just you just even see the icons but you can go through pages upon pages upon pages of we're like we're on page three and we're still on 86s that is just incredible whereas I think that is what you're paying for, really. He gets the strong links and obviously the perfect links to other French icons, which, again, are absolutely insane already. And I think in general, he's an okay striker, but he's not necessarily going to make people's teams. Again, maybe just for a fun little builder. Um, I'd probably say he's one of the one of the lesser icon moments that I've played with so far. I think I enjoyed Inzaghi a little bit more, probably because of the height. Vieri was good, but again, he didn't have that impact that obviously Inzaghi did have in that sort of build of a striker. Where at the minute, I think Ian Wright does stay clear for me until we get to somebody else. But for me, I think he's going to have to come in at around about an 8.8 .8 for me. Just didn't have that conviction that I really wanted to as an overall striker. I think you've definitely got to have a second partner with him. I don't think he'll be able to do it on his own unless you are a very slow build-up player and you have a centre forward or can behind him that is playing almost off him as a second striker. Because I think just having that player to, to kind of pass to constantly to keep him moving would definitely help. But definitely as a solo striker, I just think he's going to mess up too many opportunities for you. So let me know down below what you think. Make sure you do like and subscribe. And I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.